Ethan, stay back! Ethan, stay back! Stay back! Ethan, stay back! Ethan! Drop the knife! Drop the f***ing knife! Drop the knife! Criminals often clash with police officers, disobeying rules, and sometimes resorting to violence. But what happens when things escalate and they attack the officers? Here are seven unbelievable moments when dumb suspects try to attack cops. Starting with 25-year-old Miguel Salas, who on August 1st, 2017, was confronted by Las Vegas police officer Nelson and his partner after a person called 911, reporting that he had tracked his stolen cell phone to the truck Miguel was in. However, what began as a routine investigation quickly escalated into a nightmare. Do you have anything illegal on you? Guns, I drugs, anything like that? No? Okay. Why, why do you want me to step out? Though? What's that? Why? Because we're trying to figure out what's going on, why you're sleeping here and stuff like that, and we're getting calls on you. I'm so, I'm just, okay, well, I'm just asking you to step out, man. I don't understand, though. Like, really, like, why? Like, why? Because I'm going to do my business over here. I don't like doing it over here. You've been, you've been uh, fiddling around everywhere. You don't know where your ID's at and stuff like that, so I want to be out here. <laughs> don't be fiddling around. I know where it's at. I know where it's at. Well, I'm telling you, don't be looking around. I'm just looking. Okay, that's, we don't want you to dig around. That's why we're pulling you out of the car. Dude, just get out of the car. Stop. Just get out of the car. Why? Come on. Like, come on, dude. Like, really? I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. Why am I We never playing? said anything. You were doing anything wrong. We wanted to do your stuff out here. We wanted... Why? Why? Like, why? 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 Because we don't, we don't know what's in here. We're going to ask you to come over here. I got, I got stuff everywhere. Look, I got stuff all over the ground. I got stuff everywhere. Come on. Dude. Really? Come on, dude. Like, why, why are you going to do that? Just relax, dude. Dude, why are you going to do that? Why are you going to do that? Just relax. Just come outside. Come on, man. Like, step to the front of the anything. Okay. Bad. Then let's go over here and we'll be, everything will be good. Everything will be checked out, all right? During the encounter, Miguel protests his innocence and refuses to get out of the vehicle up to the moment when Officer Nelson tries to open the car door. Little did the officer know of what was about to unfold in the next few minutes. We want to park you. Just come out here and talk to us. All right? It's you not a big deal. Wall. We don't want to dig around. We're going to ID you over here. Look, can I, can I no, not right now. Right now. In a little bit. I swear to God, it's right here. I have my wallet. I have my... Just step out of the car. Why won't you step out of the car? The situation did not de-escalate, with Miguel still refusing to cooperate. And just when Officer Nelson eventually decided to call for backup, everything finally went south. Step out of the car, man. Dude, why are you trying to get me out of my car, dude? We're because gonna it's safer for us if we want you out of the car. Hey, stay over there, man. Dude, why? Dude, relax. I'm not doing nothing Yes, bad. you are. You're not listening to our command. Do you want to get tased? Do you want to get tased? I don't want to get okay, okay, then come the out. Hey, what's the car, man? Because the door's all broken, look. Okay. okay, just open the door. Well, come out. Three times one, two. Can we get in that? In a sudden move, Miguel grabs a Glock 23 sitting next to his right leg and begins firing, first at the second officer and then at Officer Nelson. Unfortunately, the bullet hit Officer Nelson in the chest area, passing between the panels of his bulletproof vest while Nelson's partner was struck on his work belt. Luckily for him, he wasn't wounded but didn't realize it until hours later. I don't know! I've been hit! However, Miguel didn't survive, as he died after being hit in the head. Nelson, who has been with the department since 2009, was put on paid administrative leave while the case was reviewed. But if you thought that was scary, wait until you see our next case about a suspect who was armed with a rifle instead. 26-year-old Dion Marcus Rivas Maestas, on May 13, 2017, was pulled over by a Douglas County deputy, Brad Pro, near County Line Road and Santa Fe Drive. But what was meant to be a routine traffic stop quickly soon got out of hand. Hello! 
left! As the officer approached the vehicle, the occupant of the vehicle got out with an unloaded rifle and charged at the deputy. Fearing for his life, the deputy fell to the ground and fired two shots, hitting the 26-year-old suspect in the arm once. In that instant, it is evident that the deputy felt his life was in danger and responded the way he was trained to. The deputy later got to his feet and held Marcus at gunpoint until other officers arrived and made the arrest. K-15 shots fired! K-15 shots fired! K-15 shots fired! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Don't move! It's incredible to see what adrenaline does to the body, and in this case, to the officer's voice. I'm okay. Start medical for a subject with a bleeding arm. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Luckily, Brad was unharmed during the incident, while Marcus, who was bleeding, was hospitalized. After his release, he was booked into Douglas County Jail and charged with first-degree assault. And as many of you would expect, these types of situations don't end here. Drop the knife! Drop the f***ing knife! Drop the knife! This is 46-year-old Javier Pablo Alaman, who on March 29, 2016, was walking alone along Interstate 75 outside Cincinnati when he was confronted by Glendale officer Josh Hilling. Little did the officer know the kind of person he had encountered. Oh, uh, you can't walk on the highway. I'm sort of not. You got any ID on you? No, man. You don't have any ID? Where are you coming from? Uh, Dayton. You're coming from Dayton? Where you been staying at? Staying? Yeah. No, I just came and looking for a taxi company or something like that. How'd you get down this far? Uh, the Chinese goose. Okay. Somebody was supposed to bring me out there, but she didn't appear. Okay, what's your name? Cha uh, Carlos. The Spanish for Charles. Hi, what's your last name? Umbrella. How you spell it? A M B. L, L, uh, uh, uh. Two L's? Uh, R. E. L. A. Do you have a social security number? No. Do you have anything on you that tells you what who you are? Who you got in your backpack? Dirty clothes. Alright, let's just set it down here. At first, a layman, who is later discovered to be wanted for killing his 51-year-old roommate, Victor Adolfo Serrano in Baltimore, gave a fake name when the officer questioned him about what he was doing walking alone on the highway. It is evident that Javier didn't want the officer to find out who he really was, and as such, thought it was better to lie so that the officer would leave him. However, that was not going to be the case, as Officer Josh asked that they head to his cruiser for a pat-down, and it didn't take long for Javier to show who he truly was. 7 King 11, I'll be southbound 75 at the 14 over 9. I'll be out with one subject that was walking. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Here, let's walk up to my cruiser real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have you place your uh, hands on the back of my cruiser. I'm going to pat you down for officer safety. Oh. I'm going to pat you down for officer just when the cop is about to search Javier, he suddenly pulls out a large knife and charges at the officer, asking the shocked cop to shoot him. In self-defense, Officer Josh pulled the trigger and fired one shot, striking Javier in the abdomen. However, the already injured man refused to stay down as he repeatedly yelled for the officer to kill him, alternating between, kill me, and I'm going to kill you. Hey, 11, shots fired, shots fired! Sir, man, squad, I shot one, he has a knife! Sir, get down! Sir, get down! Sir, get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Stay down! Stay down! Stay down! 
Even when other officers arrived, Javier refused to listen to commands as Officer Josh continued to scream at him to stay down, maintaining his distance as Javier staggered towards him with the knife, falling to the ground several times. One shot! Subject shot only! Subject shot only in the abdomen! Still has a knife, not following any orders! Get me! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Stop! Just stop! Just stop! No! Get on the ground! Just get down! Sir, please just get down! Sir! Sir, please! Drop the knife! No, sir! Let us help you! Drop the knife! Let us help you! Sir, drop the knife! Please drop the knife! Please drop the knife! Sir, please drop the knife! After over eight officers arrived on the scene, Javier was finally stopped with a stun gun and arrested eventually ending the standoff. As you would expect, Officer Josh was not charged for shooting Javier. However, the 46-year-old fugitive was charged with attempted murder.